Busy Business Notification Service, Busy BNS. In this presentation, we will discuss about using and implementing Busy BNS app. Using BNS app, you can send and receive notifications like your invoice, transactional notifications, reports. You can send these notifications to your parties, brokers, or on your self mobile number also. It is a very helpful app as you can immediately send notifications after saving the invoices. You can even send ledgers and other reports also. To use this app, you need to follow the following four steps. Step 1. Install and configure Busy BNS app on your Android mobiles. Step 2. Configure Busy for Busy BNS app. Step 3. Send notifications from Busy. And Step 4. Receive notifications on Busy BNS app. So we'll start with our step one install and configure busy bns app on your android devices first we'll be discussing that how you can install this app on your mobile phone on your mobile phone on your android mo device go to play store uh, write to the keyword busy bns and you can see a uh, busy bns app is appearing on the screen click the install button then click the accept button and you can see the app is being installed on your mobile phone now, when you'll go to the main screen of your mobile phone, you can see the icon of Busy BNS app is appearing on the screen. Double click this icon to open the Busy BNS app. On opening the Busy BNS app, first step you need to do is to register your mobile number. Basically, you'll specify the mobile number that you want to register for receiving the notifications. So here we are specifying the mobile number and then click the register button. On clicking the register button, an OTP will be sent to your mobile number. If this number belongs to outside India, that is this number does not belong to India, country India, then OTP will be sent on WhatsApp. Otherwise, a normal SMS will be sent containing the OTP. Specify the OTP here in this field and click submit button. On specifying a valid OTP, with the app will show a message that registration has been done successfully. So now your number is registered. Now your busy BNS app is open. Here first option is MPIN. MPIN is like the password. That is you can specify a password for the app and using that particular MPIN or password you can open the app. So on clicking the MPIN you will specify the MPIN or password and click OK button. Next is mute button. Using mute button you can mute notifications. That is when you are using the mute button you will not be able to receive notifications on busy bns click mute button and then click the confirm button to mute the notifications and when you want to receive the notifications you can click the unmute button and then click the confirm button and then you will start receiving the notifications next is unregister button if you wish to unregister the mobile number that you have registered for busy bns app then you can use this button then is delete here currently no notification is appearing as we have just opened this app this delete button is used to delete the existing notifications then is the listing button this button also will discuss at the end of the presentation also basically you can view the notifications in summarized form or complete list using this button at the top there is an icon also provided using which you can view help videos in english or hindi language or you can view or download help documents related to the app now we'll come to our step to configure busy for busy bns app one thing to note is that if you only want to receive notification on your busy bns app then you are done with it that is you only need to perform the step one that is configure the app on your mobile phone and you'll start re receiving the busy bns notifications but if you want to send notifications from busy also then you need to follow the step two three and four so, so now we'll discuss about step two configure busy for busy bns app to configure this, we'll go to Administration, Configuration, Features, Options, General Tab. Here an option, Enable Busy Data Exchange Platform BDAP is provided. You will enable this option. Basically, you need to enable the BDAP option and then click the Configuration button and specify the BDAP details. We have already entered these details. That is your BDAP ID, password, BDAP details, that is your company details like address, mobile number, WhatsApp number and click Save button to save this configuration. Now we'll configure the voucher series configuration that is we'll be configuring the series using which we want to send the notification. Here we are going to voucher series configuration then selecting the sales voucher type and main series. Here you can see an option send notification to busy BNS after saving is appearing. Specify yes in this option if you want to send notifications after saving the voucher for this particular series. 
then click the configure button here you can specify up to four formats we are taking only one format for sending the notifications that is the format in which the invoice will be sent then send pdf attachment if you specify yes in this button then pdf attachment will be sent select the format in which you want to send the notification that is the invoice format you need to select here then prompt for sending notifications if you specify yes in this button then on saving the voucher visible prompt for sending the pns notification show notifications options if you specify yes in this option then visible show the report options uh, you can select the op required options the time of sending notification also then is send to party send to self specify yes in these options if you want to send notification to your party and if you want to send notification to your own mobile number and specify the mobile number it is your mobile number on which mo notification will be sent and then is send to broker specify yes in this option if you want to send the notification to your broker or salesman also click save button to save the voucher series configuration now our next step is to make sure that we have specified the mobile number and the whatsapp number with the party so here we are opening a party master that is uh, an account master in modify mode we are selecting our party as jan traders and you can see here that the mobile number and whatsapp number are specified for the party this number will be used to send notification to the party then we'll check for the salesman master that is uh, in the broker master salesman master we'll check that mobile number and whatsapp number are specified or not now we'll come to our step three that is send notifications from busy we have configured the main series of sales voucher for sending notifications here we are creating a new sales voucher for the main series specifying the party as jan traders next we are specifying the item related details specify the bill sundry related details and click save button to save the voucher on saving the voucher a salesman details window is appearing in which we'll be selecting the salesman through which the sales is made that is salesman or broker specifying the commission percentage and so on and then busy is showing a message send notification this message has appeared because we have specified yes in the prompt for sending notifications after saving in the voucher series configuration we are clicking the yes button then we are specifying the report options it is the format in which the invoice will be sent and you can see it's showing the notification details that is the party mobile number self mobile number mo broker's mobile number and it's showing the message that notification has been sent successfully now we are going to account books ledger account wise in the standard format here uh, we are selecting the party as jan traders and you can see here busy bns button is provided to send notification that is we are sending this ledger to the party in the notification detail you can see the party number is also appearing so you can send the invoice notification and you can send the reports also now we'll see our step 4 that is receive notifications on busy bns app basically here we are seeing the screen of our party that is how the party is receiving the busy bns notifications so you can see on the screen that uh, in the summarized form it is showing if you click the listing button you can see the details also that is from start traders these two notifications have been received one for the sales invoice and one for the ledger on the right hand side an icon is provided you can see using this icon it's showing that you can either call your party broker whatsapp pdf whatsapp text with pdf link sms text with pdf link and even you can email your reports or invoice to the party this option is useful in two cases. First, if you have received direct notification from your party, an invoice from your party, then you can send it to your broker from here itself also. Secondly, if there is any modification in the invoice, if you want to recheck invoice with your party, then you can send uh, this invoice or notification along with the message from here itself. That is, you can directly resend these reports or invoices to your party or to your broker. So this is the use of busy bns app hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use and implement busy bns app thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel